to Breakfast at Mom's. I'm Mom, a.k.a. Sandra, and these are my daughters, Candace and Alyssa, and these are my daughters in love, Brooks and Felicia. And we want to welcome you to our online community of women where we come every week to discuss things that we all face and we all like to discuss. And this week, I get to be the moderator, Mm -hmm. and we are going to talk about one of my favorite topics, my probably my top three Mm -hmm. topics, favorite topic to talk about, which is maintaining a weekly date night. I am a huge advocate for maintaining a date night. I have preached this. Um, I learned this when when y'all were little and we were broke and, you know, dad's number one answer to taking a date was we don't have any money. And so I had to figure out what does that look like? Mm-hmm. How do we do this? And how do we maintain that date night? Because date night is so important for your growth of your relationship. If you're not spending that one-on-one time together, especially if you have children, if you're not getting that one-on-one time together, then you are honestly, your relationship will suffer. Mm-hmm. You you are going to have to make sure that you maintain that weekly date night. So we'll start with that question then. Mm. Um, If talking about where dad would say we didn't have the money. So what are some ways that you can do an inexpensive or little to no money on a date night? Any, anybody have any ideas? I definitely like that because I always date night on a budget, (laughs) (laughs) but um, I always think something very simple. Um, you could pack a uh, dinner at home and then bring it to the beach because yeah. it mm-hmm. only takes a little drive and then set a little picnic out and yeah. I love those kind of days and just watch the sunset, relax, talk, rekindle your love. And then another one I was thinking just out of the box, looking around for people who have kids because having a, a teenager, so she's almost <laughs> doing adulthood, having that free. <laughs> um, they say after you put the kids asleep and then making yourself your own little like movie and popcorn date make mm-hmm. it a date at home like yeah. oh that's a very smart way to do it. i was looking mm-hmm. at like different ways I and mean, there's i feel like there's a ton of ideas out there but those are my little like this day and time, time that's the great thing you know when i was trying to figure this out as a young married couple there was not google and mm-hmm. so oh, yeah. now you could literally google mm-hmm. free date night ideas yeah. or inexpensive date night ideas pinterest. and you will get a plethora of them go on pinterest oh, you will yeah. get Love so it. many yeah. of them date night does not have to be but what I think one of the main components of of date night needs to be that you're having a conversation. Mm -hmm. You know, you can even Google um, questions to ask each other Mm -hmm. that I I do this even with dad sometimes now, even at dinner, I will ask him a question. And it is amazing after all the years we've been together and been married, we're between together and married, you know, we're getting close to 40 years. So it's shocking to me when sometimes I ask him a question and I'm like, I never knew this. How did I not know this? I have been for, think about that 40 years. I've been more with dad than Mm -hmm. I've been without dad. That's pretty wild to, to, to think that. So when he tells me something, I'm like, really, this, you did this. Mm -hmm. And so that's pretty exciting to me when I get to find that. But um, there's even little card games you can get on Amazon where you ask Mm -hmm. these questions, but if we're staying free, you know, Google and those things, ask each other those, those questions. And, but spending time communicating, I'm, I'm never a big advocate for movie night on, on movies, but I know Flea loves to go to the movies. That's her whole (laughs) Mm -hmm. love. And she loves the experience. So here's my suggestion on that because of the, there's no communication at the movie do something before the movie or do something after the movie where you are communicating, where you are having a conversation because it's through the communication is where that true intimacy starts to grow. It's when you're not communicating about goals that you might have together, Mm -hmm. dreams that you might have. You know, we used to drive around and look at houses of where we hope to live in one day. Mm -hmm. And so then we could dream, you know, used we called it dream building. We could dream build together. We could think about those things that we want to do. There's so many things that you can do, but communication is the whole reason for that date night every week so that you can 
put away the phone, mm-hmm. put away, you know, the kids aren't there, but you can have that time to just build with each other. And this is not just for if you have kids at home. I sadly have counseled with people who've been married 25 years going into divorce. Mm-hmm. And that is that was so shocking to me the first yeah. time I had a couple come to talk to me. And I was like, you've been married 25 years. You've gone through the hard stuff. You've figured this out. What are you doing? But what happens is that lack Mm -hmm. of communication together, that lack of common coming together Mm -hmm. and dreaming together and having goals together and enjoying things together. That is what happens. Mm -hmm. I think it's the intentionality is like what you're really, really hitting at. Even if you, say you do have kids at home, especially if you're like me and you have young kids where you can't necessarily be like, okay, you're cool. We'll come back, you know, whatever. Uh, For Dale and I, if we don't have a babysitter, like if that's something that just didn't happen that week on Fridays, it's still date night. So we put them to bed early. I'm intentional to know either we're skipping nap in the afternoon or we're doing it early enough in the day that they can go to bed a little bit earlier than probably they normally would. And we'll do something either cheap, like he'll pick up Chinese Mm -hmm. or pizza or we'll be like hey we're gonna cook and then he's in there with me together it's not me cooking and he's off in the living room doing whatever we're sitting there together having that conversation yeah Yeah. and that's That's our our date for that week is like having perfect that moment it's kind of like when you were dating and they were like hey i want to cook you dinner like come over yeah you guys you live together and it's your spouse but like still cook each other dinner like have that moment like you would when you were dating each other yeah Yeah. absolutely thinking back some of my favorite dates that Brandon and I have been on we did um we went through a season where we loved to play cards Mm -hmm. and so we would go to the coffee shop and we'd share coffee a cup of coffee and we'd play cards for hours Mm -hmm. and hours Um, and like we'd talk and then we did he loves cars and certain types of cars and at one point he had one of his favorite cars we had purchased and we would just get in and drive and he was loving it because he was driving his car (laughs) and I was loving it because we were communicating and talking yeah. And just driving, yeah. Yeah. you know. Um, and then I remember when we were pregnant, when I was pregnant, we live here in St. Augustine. So, you know, the town, we would just walk yeah. the yeah. downtown. Yeah. We have a great area. And there's so many mm-hmm. things that people watch and see and go in and out of shops. And you're not buying anything. You're yeah. just walking, yeah. you know. Yeah. But it was just time alone together, mm-hmm. you know, to have that that intentionality, like you yeah. said. And then I, I want you guys to talk about this because you all do this and I'm so proud of you is, you know, what do you do? Because babysitting is expensive. I hear you guys talk about what it costs and I'm thinking, Oh my goodness. Yeah. You were not making that much when you were doing it. Uh, no, no, uh, no, I'm going to need to get a check and you know, the reimbursement. What I went, reimbursement for what I didn't get. So I, I love because y'all have heard me preach date night to you mm-hmm. since forever. So I'm so proud of how y'all implemented this. So I'm going to let whoever wants to explain what y'all do to help try to combat some of that expense. I think you came up with it, right? You kind of had the conversation. Yeah. yeah, I don't know. I guess literally the Lord, like I know that's a cliche, but I remember vaguely, I might've been like in the shower, putting my makeup on, like just thinking about the fact that all of us needed dates. I was a very new mom and missing that time with Dale. Maddie was so young. She was little. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And then obviously y'all aren't leaving King at the house. He's still little. So it was just kind of this moment of like, like, do we just kind of trade off? You were in the original text, I remember, mm-hmm. because I was like, there's four of us. There's four weeks in a month. And then I was like, Candace, I know you guys are like out of this. But if you and Colby want to watch the kids. <laughs> You're talking back to that. Like, I was yeah, yeah, yeah. So basically what we do is each week we trade off. Someone has all of the kids. So all of the little babies are at their house or now kind of at my house because I have the two young kids. Mm-hmm. Uh, but yeah, the rest of us get to have a date night. So that means for us, one week out of the month, we have all the kids, but all the other weeks out of the month, we get a night that we're not paying for a babysitter and we get to go out. And it's so nice because we've just kind of established, like if your kid is with us, they're taken care of. So we're not like worried about dinners or packing, whatever, like whoever's house they're at, they get pizza. <laughs> it's all, their favorite. It is because they're with they all get the to cousins. Be together. Yeah. Yes. 
So uh, what's great about that is now we don't have like our kids whining about the fact of we're leaving and they don't want us to go because in their mind, they're like, oh, I'm going over to Aunt Flea's house and we're going to have pizza. Yeah. <laughs> My favorite <laughs> part about all of this is that Bella, Maddie, mm-hmm. like mm-hmm. Kingston, mommy and daddy's going on a date tonight. Yep. And I'm like, we're instilling yeah. like, this You're principle teaching that yeah. now is yeah. like in drilled. Yeah. And in. I love getting the family text of, you know, Maddie playing with the, the, the little robot, little robot yeah. she was playing with and the things that the kids are doing. I, I get, I love, you know, looking at those too. It's a lot of fun to be able to see that, yeah. but, but I'm proud of y'all, but maybe you don't have a community of a family like this, that you can do that. So I would encourage you to find other moms mm-hmm. that you know are in your situation and be like, Hey, I really would love to do this, even if it's just one other mom and you're like, okay, at least I'm going to go this once this month, at least start somewhere. Don't feel like, oh, I can't do this every week, but do some of these other things we talked about when you put the kids to bed and do those things, but at least try to get at least one more mom where y'all can trade off so that you can go and be able to go out yeah. and, and, and or leave the home. even splitting the cost. Like this month, poor, poor Brooks. King, starts. King is <laughs> busy every Friday. So they're busy every Friday. Mm-hmm. So something that Flea and I, we text each other and we were like, listen, like I still need a date night. So <laughs> we got to make this happen. So for us, we're like, okay, we'll trade off. And then we decided that we'll find a sitter and split that cost for us on the third week. That way That's a good idea. we have, you know, a little bit more, it's a little less, costly than each of us Mm -hmm. having our own sitter. So yeah, that's another option that you can do as well. Yeah. Yeah. And I even think about, say someone doesn't have maybe the ability to find a sitter, or maybe they don't really Mm -hmm. know of anyone or they don't have a community like that. A lot of times Trev and I were homebodies. Mm -hmm. So for us, again, I love watching movies and Trev and I will sit on the couch, we'll cuddle because yeah. my love language is touch. Yeah. So I want to cuddle and we'll pick a movie and the kids will just be playing. Mm-hmm. But it's being intentional and yeah. having those conversations and, you know, the check in conversations yeah. like we're before the movie and stuff like, hey, like, how are you feeling? Like, what are you doing? How was your yeah. week? Things yeah. like that. Mm-hmm. I think sometimes just saying the word date being like, yeah. even though the kids are at home on Thursday, you and I are having a date. Like mm-hmm. it's just that word. It makes it become you, intentional. Right. It's not the normal. Yeah. Every so now you're both stuff. kind of like you have that level of like, OK, if this is a date, then we would communicate. Then we would cuddle or we would. It's just kind of setting that atmosphere yeah. before it, that or, day. Or, you know, after the kids are asleep, you bring out the flamingo <laughs> pajamas. Do you want to tell us about that? Let's All tell. men, Don't stop listening. Me. <laughs> so, that so, that we, so that we can share <laughs> Alyssa's flamingo story. Okay, so Bella was, I, I mean, this was like what, maybe right when we started the podcast at so the beginning of yeah. this year? Is that when we started doing all this? I don't this? know. Anyway, mm-hmm. it was very early on because I remember it was the first day we were coming together to film the podcast. I told the story to all the girls. But... I had, um, <laughs> I had some, I don't even know how to say this in a sh- sugar coated way. I had some dull, um, pajamas, pajamas, lingerie. Yeah. It's I'm like, not this all like sounds it's this way, terrible now it sounds like it. more dirty than it needed to be. I had lingerie, yeah, it's lingerie and it was sticking out of my like dresser drawer. Bella gets in our bed probably like a couple times throughout the week. She just wakes up in the middle of the night and she comes in our room. So I thought, nothing of it getting her and putting her in our bed well the next morning it was like kind of hanging out of the drawer and I'm half asleep and Bella's like mommy 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 let me go see the flamingo and I was like the flamingo like I'm just like she's making up something I have no idea what she's talking about (laughs) mommy there's a flamingo and I'm like where's the flamingo what are you what are you even talking about she goes and your drawer I see a flamingo and I was like oh my god (laughs) I was like, that is not a drawer. That's that, or that's not a flamingo. I was like, that's that's mommy's underwear. And she goes, what? And I was like, oh god. So uh, yeah, that's my story. Poor Dale. He's gonna be like, oh my god. But yeah, that's real life. Just so hide those things from your kids better than I did. Right, right. Or you realize when you get married. You know, I remember we were talking about this. We were just talking about we went 
lingerie shopping oh, for, for Alyssa, Alyssa before she got married. It's like, why? You know, so yeah, <laughs> save the money. Yeah. yeah. Inexpensive date night. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Do a date yeah. night instead. <laughs> yeah. So yeah, very crazy. I love it. Start at home <laughs> yeah. and then you'll never get to dinner and then you don't have to pay <laughs> for anything. <laughs> Perfect. It's just there saying. you go. And all the guys say, here, here. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Right. Right. Well, let, yeah, but we got to be careful we don't get into that mode because sometimes, you know, guys may think that's all date night is and yeah. that is yeah. not. It truly yeah. is that building of that communication. Um, I mean, because dad and I still do date night and yeah. we live by ourselves, and yeah. we don't have kids and we still do date night. And we would get out of that routine because dad would always say to me, we, at, we eat out a lot. So he would say, we did go to the restaurant. Yeah. We ate. Mm-hmm. And I'm like, if you think that date night equals just going to a restaurant, yeah. you are missing this. Yeah. But I, you know, having that intentional a couple of weeks ago, um, I had told him, you know, I'm, I'm dressed today, which means <laughs> I have makeup on and people can see me. Um, I'm, I'm going to get my nails done. So I'm dressed today. He goes, are you dressed? Or are you just whatever? And I'm like, no, I'm dressed. I'm like, do you want to go to dinner? He's like, yeah, and I thought, oh, just conveniently where we would normally go. And he had planned this nice Aww, place for us to go. Yeah. And it was this great rooftop restaurant. Oh, and you. we had the best time. And then we got in the car and I said, I felt like we were on a real date tonight. <laughs> this is so great. You planned this because, you did. know, anything about my life, I'm the planner of all of it. And so it just it felt great to be able to do that. Yeah, so cute. do that. So husbands that are listening, take the time, pick yeah. a place and go, you know what? We're going to go here tonight, or we're going to do this tonight. It doesn't have to be a restaurant. We're going to do this tonight. Make it intentional. Like, that Mm -hmm. was, I think we've talked about it before, but, like, with our schedule and how crazy we are, like, we sat down at the beginning of the year and went through the whole year. Mm -hmm. And we can't do date night every, you know, every week, you know, right now with our schedules and everything. But we picked out one day a month. And it's not always a Friday. It's somewhere Mm -hmm. on the schedule. But it's already there that that is that is what that is. There's no ifs and or butts, nothing's going to change it. Nothing's going to get scheduled on. Because you're a you. lot, you're in the same way as mm-hmm. Dad and I. Y'all eat out a lot too. Yes. So yeah. when Brandon's home, so it's easy to think, oh, well, we're yeah. already doing that. But right. you're not really on no. a date. Yeah. You're not yeah. spending that time. You're just eating dinner. Right. Yeah. And so that's what I was trying to explain to Dad. No, just because we went to a restaurant yeah. doesn't mean we were and on a there's, date. There's <laughs> something, like, I don't know about you guys, but for me, if I know I'm going on a date, it's like the getting ready. It is. It's Do like you put the on the self- soundtrack, like I yes. put on a certain uh, amount of mood music. <laughs> It is like the self-care of like, yeah, yeah, I could put on makeup like every day or do whatever, but like, it's like, oh no, now I'm putting on makeup Uh, and like, I'm doing my hair and my nails look good and I picked out an outfit. It's just like. Certain music is, I do that too. Every time we're getting ready for a date, I've got the certain music on. I always got to tell Colby, I know when we haven't had a date in a while, usually I do a little hit, like, I need some extra loving, (laughs) Um, you know. To go somewhere, do something. But he's also a homebody introvert too. So you have. I do like I told Brooks. If you're going to do this, Mm -hmm. don't wait on him. Yeah, Mm -hmm. no. So you're going to have to be the planner because I'm. I'm a little bit of both. I like extrovert, introvert. It depends Mm -hmm. where I'm around. But after all, I get a little itch, and I have got to go do something. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So, and I he knows I like spontaneous stuff. Like like. So he goes. It was a Saturday. I just got back from home from doing all the errands I had to do. I was like, oh my gosh, I'm tired. Let's go do all this. Mm -hmm. He's Babe, what you got going on around like four o'clock? I'm like, four o'clock. <laughs> uh, getting dinner ready, what, uh, deciding what we want to do for dinner. I don't know. All right, uh, we're going to go to the movies. Aww. I'm like, oh. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Don't do the movies. <laughs> and Kobe is a ro- Kobe is a romantic yeah. too. Yeah. Is. Dale is the number one romantic. Oh, I feel yeah. like in this sure. group, and yeah. then Kobe is definitely number two. Yeah. So yeah. But he's like, I don't because when we started dating, he did all these cute little dates, and then I come to find out, he goes, Oh yeah, I, I checked out Pinterest, and oh, that helps me out. Oh, so that's he has a board on Pinterest when we started dating. Like, yeah. But to, Little oh, ideas. I remember him texting me, hey, yeah. can I have ideas of what to do with Candace on date so nights? So I need to fun. hit that back to him like, yeah. Go to, go talk well, to mom again. And I think it's okay to like bring that up. This past yeah. week, I, I text Dale because our August, it was like, it just flipped upside down. Like there was so much that July happened. July was. E- <laughs> yes. <laughs> so I just, we had no time alone. Even the ones that we scheduled, they got rescheduled and then completely mm-hmm. canceled. And I text him the other night. I think it was a Friday night and my son was sick. So there just was like not an option. Like we weren't going out, but I text him and I was like, this is not at you, but I am venting. 
I've not had adult adult time with someone right. else mm-hmm. this entire month. Like yeah. I need time with you. I need time not in our home. And so he the next day, even though we had the kids, we dragged all of them to <laughs> Jacksonville just so we could walk around and shop and just like get me out. Oh, yeah. And then I text Flea the next Monday and I was like, we have to establish a date for this week because I need that. Like I'm kind of like yeah. getting in my head. So mm-hmm. it's okay to not only tell your spouse, tell but be them. like, I will figure out what I need to Something. do. Like who do I need to text right. to have my kids? Like we need to and, have and this And sometimes moment. you have to be you the person to, to mm-hmm. be the planner. Yeah. You know, yeah. it's uh, it, it when, when my husband plans something, it's extra special for me because he's not mm-hmm. the planner. So you just do what works. And if that means you, you've got to be the initiator of the planning, then do it. Because if you wait on him, you're going to be angry yeah. because you're not getting, he's mm-hmm. not planning anything for you. Yeah. I think this. we pretty much like the mm-hmm. girls, we yeah. figure out at least the date. Like I'll yeah. text Dale, Hey, here's our date nights for September. And now he knows. Now I make him kind of think through what we're going to do, but I have, but he least, likes that. He's like, he me. does. He's, so, he likes to plan. I have to brag on Trev. Trev's not really like a planner or anything. Like Trevor I'm, doesn't want to leave the house. No. <laughs> <laughs> Unless he's going to Publix or the gym. <laughs> Literally. <laughs> Trev. But he um, he went to like a pastor meeting and they went to this like little French like restaurant downtown. Mm-hmm. Oh, nice. He comes home from it and he goes, all right, pick a day next week and I'm going to take you out for a day date. Oh, oh no. Nice. I love crepes, like love. Mm-hmm. Like, I know you would like this place. So oh, it's so funny. You can't be friends with Alyssa. Ugh. Yeah, uh, I used to take a li- want to take a list of this little French it. place. I don't like crepes. crepes all the oh, time, so and good. she's like, I hate I crepes. And here's the thing: I've had them like authentically in when Paris, and yeah. I just I don't like them, guys. I don't know why. I'm sorry. I know, I know, <laughs> I, I know. know. That's what I, I think. don't know what it is. My favorite ones were at Disney when we were there, though. Oh, yeah, yes. those were my favorite. Oh my that gosh, was for my great, that was a so great trip. We did. I love that. I do think it's important because we get busy in life. Kids come in like it's easy to just kind of like push that off the side because you're just going yeah. through the motions and going in there. But I think there's an importance to it. Cause like you said, like little by little, like it mm-hmm. can, it can separate you yeah. before like, you even know. And yeah. and it doesn't mean just with kids. Like there are times that I have to say to dad, uh, hello, mm-hmm. we get in such the habit of going of out routine. with our we friends that yeah. we are like, Hey, let's go here. Let's do this. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. And then I realized it was the last time that him and I just yeah, did. And I said, listen, you know, we've done trips with friends and trips with family. Then the last trip we went on, it was just him and I. Yeah. And I was like, this was the best trip ever. <laughs> but it was just because it was our attention was yeah. on each other mm-hmm. and not trying to spread yeah. our attention around everything. Those are all great. But finding that intentionality yeah. because benefits of, you know, you have to, you have to. It is going to strengthen your marriage. It is not going to in any way, shape, or form break down anything. It is going to strengthen. Very true. Yeah. There's mm-hmm. no way that you can spend yeah. intentional time together weekly, whether you leave the house or not, mm-hmm. but making that intentional time together. You know, so I'll have to say to dad, you know, come in, come, let's go sit outside or let's go yeah. get in the pool and just float around and just yeah. talk to each other. And yeah, for somebody who hasn't, done date night because we've all kind of been instilled in it Mm. but for somebody watching that like maybe hasn't and this is they're like okay i'm going to start this yeah Mm -hmm. they have a babysitter they've planned the day they get to dinner what do you do to make it less awkward awkward. well that's what i said whether you google those questions Mm -hmm. or you go on amazon there's all kinds of these little box cards that Mm -hmm. you could ask different questions and and just try and pull out those questions and And it doesn't have to be answer 50 million questions it could be like you know just google a couple questions and then you don't even have to tell him you're doing this Mm -hmm. you just be prepared with what you're going to ask and then you just be like hey you know ask whatever that question is Mm -hmm. because that's when i grew to to find out things about dad yeah. that we've been together almost 40 years yeah. and I'm like what when 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 was yeah. this and yeah. so it's fun to 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 get to know them more on that and people when you ask people questions 
they feel like you care. Mm-hmm. And so then hopefully your your spouse or your boyfriend or girlfriend will then start to mm-hmm. yeah. learn like, hey, I want to ask yeah. them certain questions. Yeah. But that's the way to do that. Because, yeah. yeah. you know, you and Brandon, y'all could sit in silence forever. So that's just <laughs> like, how they, could, they are. And so I'll never forget when you went, we we're going to oh hurry. Gosh, when you, they drove yes. you to college <laughs> one of the times. It was, it's a three hour drive. And I don't think you spoke the entire three three hours like I sat in the back seat and and not even I didn't even know that the radio was on it just was oh like my. pure silence for three hours especially for someone like you who loves to talk they yeah. were they were happy I'm as like, larks yeah saying I nothing. was like Jesus oh my god insane I but I was gonna say to that question something that mm-hmm. I do if there's uh, not that Dylan and I are never really like uncomfortable around each other but just to like kind of bring that spark back as we'll reminisce like we'll talk yeah. about when we first were dating or do you remember when we did this or when we mm-hmm. met like this or do you remember this time because we've had these like years together so for someone that yeah. maybe once you got married that kind of idea of date fell away mm-hmm. starting with like yeah. that kind of stuff to ease you back into like oh yeah we did like yeah. have a lot of fun and, and just start talking about you know when you were younger and before you were married or when you started a relationship you were dreaming about all this stuff yeah. that okay, you wanted to do we so wanna... dream build about the next stage of your life and yeah. what you want that to be I know for dad and I we really had to rein it in because he always was going to talk about work and I was mm-hmm. always going to talk about the kids there's places for that Mm -hmm. but in the beginning like talk about each other talk about things that you want to be on the same page about then that's going to filter in your work church children Mm -hmm. you know all of that yeah so all right okay well um if you have any questions that you would like to ask about it or you have ideas because you know we're not the know-all be-all so if you have any ideas for date night put it in the comments below if there's anything you want us to talk about go to our website send us a message go over to instagram interact with us there and until next time go on a date (laughs) all right we'll see you next time